Well hello and welcome to episode 48 of Rare Hot Wheels and part one of my finds at the National Street Rod Association's Southern Swap Meet. Not only will I be featuring the first half of my diecast finds but also some of the cars that were on show here. So let's get on with having a look around and seeing what was going on. Here we are, just arrived at the NSRA Southern Swap Meet. So let's get on and have a look around, try and find me some wheels. And now for the first batch of my diecast finds. First up is this 2005 Red Lines. Phil Rahman designed 8 crate. It's based on a 1956 Ford Ranch Wagon, highly customised with a mid-engine and a glass roof with the injection stacks poking through the top. This is one cool 50s ride. Next we have this tuned 64 Chevy Impala in red oxide paint with tribal style flames on the sides. This was a one year only run in 2004 and I have no idea who designed the thing. Kind of looks like a mini muscle machines with the huge engine sticking out of the hood. Introduced in 1991 with a production run through to 97, this is the Buick Stocker. This one is the 1992 release for a Rose's department store as a promo, depicting Tommy Hudson's race car from the Blackwall era of Hot Wheels. This is the 2005 edition of the Bruce Bauer designed Way Too Fast. It's made up of a 30s chop sedan shell with two huge blown V8s in it. First introduced in 97, it ran through till 2009. This one is from the Pinhead series, so named because there are faces or heads on the roof, made up of pinstripe style artwork. This is the Larry Wood designed 56 Flash Cider. This is the 2005 Treasure Hunt version featuring red smooth wheels and white wall tires. It was originally introduced back in 1992 and is still made now, although the chassis has been modified so it now looks like a 4x4. Next from the Blackwall era is this 1986 Blind Cider from the Crack Up series. This is the side crash version of the car, 
featuring a door that revolves to reveal a smashed up panel. And lastly in part one is this 1968 introduced custom Mustang designed by Harry Bradley from the Red Line era. Sadly this one is missing its hood but the Spectra Flame green paint looks pretty awesome. See you soon in part two so you can see the rest of my haul from the NSRA swap meet.